I mean, obviously you've seen that before, but uh, what did you see particularly in this game that really stood out to you? You know, I thought it was uh, it was an awesome night for him. Um, you know, I think that that's one of the reasons why um, you stay home and play for the University of Minnesota is, you know, you've got uh, an awesome environment in your hometown, in front of your family and friends, and you play at a level like that on national TV. That's what makes staying home special, and that's why, um, you know, with Amir, Michael, uh, all the local guys that we've got, and that's what makes a night like that special. So for Amir, it was great that um, he was in attack mode. Uh, you know, he was making plays off the bounce, making plays at the rim, knocked down some open threes, defensively did a lot of little things as well. Um, you know, so obviously he carried us to victory. But, you know, that's, um, that's what great players do, you know, and he's got to find a way to um, continue to evolve in that. You know, he's a junior, but he missed so much time last year where it's hard to really call him that, but that is what he is, and he's got to, uh, he's got the talent to do it. He's got to continue to mentally uh, stay locked in on doing that all the time. And obviously he's trying to deal with not just coming back from the injury last year, but also the new position. Do you feel like you've learned in the last several games how to uh, move him in and out of that spot to, to best use him effectively? The position thing is doesn't mean a lot to me. It means a lot to you. It does not mean a lot to me. Um, it's a for me. It's a matter of understanding the plays. There's not a whole lot of a difference, you know. Now, for Oklahoma State, when they're pressuring you and they're denying, but you know we're going to run our offense, and he's going to play in multiple positions regardless. So, uh, the whole point guard thing is is totally overblown. Um, I think it's just a matter of. You know, he's going to be in the game. He's a talented player. He can play multiple positions. Um, but he's going to be able to dribble the ball, pass the ball, shoot the ball from all areas of the court. Um, There's no such thing as a primary ball handler in our offense. There's not. Uh, we, we don't come down the court and only one person touches the ball. Uh, that's just not good offense. So, again, there's no primary ball handlers in our offense. Um, he's handling it well. He's handling all spots well. He plays multiple positions, uh, and he'll continue to do that. You know, and it's uh, he's handled it very, very well. That's why we recruited him is because we thought he was a versatile player, a smart player, uh, who could play all over the court. Have you seen Jordan grow as a player and a person throughout the last four years? How happy are you for him that he's been able to put his name in so many different record books? It's unbelievable. I mean, uh, leading rebounder, I think he set the school record for double doubles. Um, you know, what he's been able to accomplish uh, on the court is phenomenal. Uh, you know, he's going in the record books. He's, he's shattering some records by some really, really good players. And he's 6'6", you know, so that's, uh, that's all sheer will and heart and determination. Uh, you know, not in, in regardless of basketball, he's been a exemplary student athlete here. He's represented, um, you know, this whole university the right way. Um, you know, he, he cares about his academics. He cares about being a good person. He cares about winning. Um, you know, so he's, uh, he's been a special player for us. And uh, to be able to do what he's done, statistically, he's been unbelievable. In a game with maybe, you know, a team not many people know about, how do you, I don't know if you manufacture, how do you get that same vibe or try to get that same execution out of a game like well, that? Well, I mean, it's, it's, you know, whenever you're playing at home, you rely on your fans, you know, and, a, and we anticipate hopefully a really big crowd. A Saturday game at three is a great time. You know, sometimes it's hard. Uh, Eight o'clock on a weeknight, I get it. Um, you know, we don't have a bunch of weekend games, so this is a great opportunity. Three o'clock, I know I'm bringing my kids, um, you know, to bring your kids have a good time and come in and, and, and support these guys because they deserve it. You know, I mean, it's uh, last game was emotional, obviously. That was fresh in everybody's mind with Dupree's mom. Uh, but like anything else, um, you know, just because a couple of days have passed doesn't mean that Dupree is still not going through a lot. Uh, you know, and this team is not going through a lot. They are, um, you know, trying to be there for him and trying to support him. Uh, you know, so our fans, they're the ones that really get us going. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, this team, we've played nine games. We've played six high major teams. We play one of the toughest schedules in the country, and we're at seven and two with Eric Curry out and with Dupree obviously going through what he's going through with five new faces. So I think there's a lot to be excited about, um, and certainly Saturday, tomorrow is a great opportunity for our fans to show that.
Uh, I haven't been on campus today. Uh, yeah, I've been ahead. sitting yeah. in my office. But um, you know, volleyball obviously speaks for itself. What they've been able to accomplish is amazing. Uh, you know, there's so many good things going on right now in this athletic department, in this university. Uh, you know, speaking solely from a basketball standpoint, if you didn't watch that, if, if you watch that game and you're not excited about this team, um, and you're probably not paying attention. Now, are, are we perfect? No. Um, are we the greatest team in the country? We're not. We've got flaws. But we're going to put our heart and soul out there for each other. Uh, we're going to play the right way. It's a good group of kids. And we still got a long way to go, you know. So um, it could be an exciting day. Um, you know, it's good to be back in our building. You know, like I said, I mean, playing nine games and, what, six of them have been away from Williams Arena, it's hard to win those games. So uh, we need to continue to develop a great home court like we've had. You know, that helps everything. You know, it helps recruiting. It helps ticket sales when you have a great, uh, you know, environment. Obviously, it motivates our team.